Hi everybody. In this lesson we're going to be introducing autos, which is a Greek pronoun. Uh, we're going to be spending both 9.2, 9.3, and even 9.4 on what autos is and how we can use it. Uh, this lesson is going to focus on its intensive use, but before we even get to it, well, we need to know how to decline it and what form it takes. So it is a, a personal pronoun. And in this intensive use, we're going to get to a number of English translations, but it's going to mean either himself in the masculine, herself, or itself. So masculine, feminine, neuter, different ways of translating this personal pronoun, which really simply means you know, self. And then in English, we need to specify, well, if it's masculine, feminine, or a neuter object, we want to know more about it. But really, blank self is what this autos is. Well, let's draw that chart because we love to draw charts in Greek, and start taking it apart. So we're going to have masculine here, feminine here, neuter, again, the order by convention, and then the singular and the plural, we're going to have nominative, genitive, dative, and accusative, nominative, genitive, dative, and accusative. Note that there is no vocative for autos. Uh, there's no aute, as it would be. Um, this is because it just doesn't come up in usage. You're not going to say, oh, you, yourself, or, or if you do, there's, well, actually, that's a good point. These are third person. <laughs> what we just saw, that himself, herself, itself, that's all third person. If we say you, yourself, that's that's second person, and Greek has a pronoun for that. It's like... It's like a smartphone. There's an app for that. There's a pronoun for that in Greek. Greek pronouns are just a little bit tricky, and that's why we delay them until chapter 9. But once you got autos, you're really going to be well equipped to handle the other personal pronouns. You, yourself, all these things. Uh, but first things first. So let's, let's get a masculine blue uh, and start writing this out. see no reason why to color code like this, but it just comes to my mind. So autos, again, Note that we have a masculine, singular, nominative dictionary entry. Again, that's called the lemma. If we were to look something up in a dictionary, you'd need to know the lemma to be able to find it. And the lemma, in this case, is autos, masculine, singular, nominative, singular. Good. So autos, and then the genitive, autu. So we're starting to see a kind of pattern here. This looks a lot like a second declension noun. Auto, again, same, nothing really fancy here. Auton, classic second declension. Now in the plural, are there going to be any surprises? Autoi, no. That's exactly as we'd expect it. Outtone, good. What's this going to be? Big surprise. Oh, big surprise when my pen stops working. There we go. Autois, and then finally, autus. So, he himself, of him himself, to or for him himself, uh, him as a direct object himself, etc. This is what we're working with. Let's, uh, let's buck the trend and do a nice orange for feminine. Yeah, pastel red orange, that's going to do us just nicely. Aute. So again, note that the accent is on the ultima throughout all these. Uh, so that we get a lot of you know, excitement when we get into the genitive and dative uh, with that circumflex. I'm not sure if you find circumflexes exciting, but I do. Outtain. So again, now, now we're in classic first declension. This is, in, in essence, a first and second degree adjective so far. Outtie. Good. Outtone. I'm saying good because I know you're all guessing it on the other end of the screen. Outtice. And then finally... Out tops, and that's a long alpha, and that's a, uh, a cute accent for now. Good, neuter. Well, here we get slightly trickier, and, and it's all right here. Well, let me let me pick a new color. Again, we want to buck some trends. Let's make neuter a really nice purple. I hope this is bright enough. That's a little dark. So a little bit more pastel. And then here we have out tall. So that's remember if we had sophos. We have sophos, sophé, and then sophon. This is much more like the article ta. So that's really the only thing to be paying special attention to. So let me get that hot pink, put a box around that, and say, that's weird. 
but that's okay. <laughs> We've encountered weirdness before. And then we're going to find that otherwise it's following the standard second declension format. And then, as always with neuter, nominative is equal to the accusative. So if, I, if you know one, you know the other. That's such a nice rule. You're, I hope you're starting to see just how nice that is. <laughs> that you, if you know one, you know the other. How often does that happen on the masculine and feminine side? And now it's going to be a little bit more predictable in the plural. Alta, short alpha. Outtone. Outtoise. And then again, because of the rule, we already know it. Outta. Let me mark that rule one more time. In all cases, nominative equals accusative and neuter. Always, always, always. Good, so we have the format. Now, how are we going to use this? Well, let, let's take some of Shelmerdine's examples and we'll see how clear it is, or, or maybe very obscure this usage is. So the first one is Hall strategos, the general, and then we have autos following it immediately. Position is important here. So the general himself, I guess I should fix that accent because we've already followed the word. The general himself is what this will mean. Age, leads, drives, whatever. Tus, the masculine plural things. And that's the stratiotas. Gonna just kind of skip the ending because it doesn't really matter. Good, got that? So the general, and now, this is, I'm going to write the uh, autos in translation in blue, himself leads the soldiers. So what is this? This is really, as it says in the title of this, it's intensifying. It's not changing the meaning of the sentence. We don't see that, I mean, overtly. Uh, it's still the general who's leading the soldiers, uh, but we're emphasizing that he is doing it himself. He's not having anyone else do it. It really just intensifies the fact that he is the subject of this verb. Let's try another example. Let's get a nice green here. Tempo. Ton. Heruka. That's a nice third declension of that kappa kappa ta side that we've just seen in the last lesson, lesson eight, ace, outtain, tain, co-main. Good. So what does this mean? Well, I am sending, first off, I am sending, and then what was a k-rux? This was the herald to, and then outtain itself, feminine accusative item, and then, then we get the, the noun here, tain kome, to the village itself. So note that we've had autos both follow the noun and then precede it. In both cases, note that it's not before an article. It's just on its own to the left or to the right of the noun it's, it's working with. And how do we know that autos is working with strategos? Well, it's because they agree in case, number, and gender. So nominative singular masculine, nominative singular masculine, accusative singular plur, uh, feminine, right there, good. And then let's do Shelmerdine's final example, the bright red. Autos, edioke, ton, nea, neon. So what's going on here? Well, what does autos agree with? Nothing. It's alone here in the nominative singular neuter. Sorry, not neuter. <laughs> masculine, very much masculine nominative singular masculine form. So let's not translate it. Let's just do the rest of the sentence. Uh, as often in Greek, if you don't know something, try your best with the rest and then see how this might fit in. So edioke is, was pursuing, nice and perfect. 
And then ta nea neon, nice first declension masculine noun, the young man. So what do we know about the subject of this? Well, it could be either he, she, or maybe a monstrous it. <laughs> he, she, it. And then now we can say here, well, himself, herself, or itself. So it, the monster itself, was pursuing the young man. He himself was pursuing the young man. That's what's going on here. So Autos is agreeing with the unstated subject of edioke. So I was saying he, she, it, and himself, herself, itself here, but not all these options are actually available. What, why? Well, this is masculine, nominative singular, so we have to be working with he himself. So he himself was pursuing the young man. Excellent. That takes care of business. Good, so this is the intensive use of autos, and let's see what we can note about it. The whole thing looks exactly like a first and second declension adjective, except the nominative and accusative singular of the neuter. These are our exceptions. Everything else looks just like sophos. Good. I should say that that's class A type with this eta, not an alpha. Within our three examples that we took from Schoenberdien, in number one, we had autos following Strachikos, the noun that it was modifying, the general himself. This is English word order, leads the soldiers. In the second example, we had the intensifying pronoun that should precede what it was talking about. So I sent, I am sending the herald to the thing itself, the town, the village itself. That's what's going on here. Greeks would hear this outane and say, well, there's nothing back here that could be feminine accusative singular. We have to look forward, and then finally that's satisfied with tane komen. And then in the, our last example, autos adioke tonean neon, we had autos taking the place of the subject. Uh, we don't know exactly who it is, but we know it's nominative masculine singular uh, because there's only one form on this chart that looks like that. So we're able to unambiguously say subject of the sentence is masculine and singular that agrees with the singular third person verb at dioke. So he himself was pursuing the young man. Excellent. See you in lesson 9.2 when we get to tackle autos as a personal pronoun. Take care.